Good morning, Facebook family, and welcome to our Mondays Reflect and Revive. This morning, I want to share from my heart um, about eternity. And the reason that I feel that God laid this in my spirit was yesterday I attended a funeral of a very, very sweet, spirit-filled brother in Christ had a smile that would just light up your world. But in his funeral, salvation was spoken of, hope, um, eternity, that it is not the end, but it is the beginning. And what I feel that God dropped in my spirit is that not everybody knows the truth. Not everybody makes it to heaven. And the only way to make it to heaven is know the truth. And the first truth that I want to share with you guys is out of the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The world has put us in a place that you can sin all day long, and you can do things that are against God, and guess what? Yay, you make it to heaven. The world tells us that but God's Word is very clear that the only way is through his son and in chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus saith unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man comes unto the Father but by me that's talking about salvation. That's talking about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. Um, it's really simple. But um, sometimes we make it complicated. You know, who? nobody in their right mind wants to believe that, oh, you know, my loved one, you know, is in hell. They, they didn't make it to heaven. You know, I don't know. I don't know their heart. You know, you don't know their heart. Only God knows their heart. But the word also states that you can tell by the fruit that they bear. Sin is sin. There is no cutting it and dicing it. You know, if it is against the word of God, then it's against God. And being at a funeral and knowing this person made it to heaven because of their life, what they lived out. This is what they lived out. You know, it just brings so much comfort and so much hope that I really got homesick. I realized, and every day that the coming of Jesus Christ gets closer and closer, I realize this is not my home. I'm just passing through. They sang a song um, called Beulah Land and how that song just touches my heart, you know, and how I just want to be there. You know, I have accepted Jesus Christ as my savior. I try to make him Lord of my life. I try to live in his righteousness, my, not my own. I try to take every step that is outlined in the word of God for others to see. Am I perfect? No. I fall short of God's glory every day, but I do strive to be able to thrive. My life has not been easy, but with God in it, I have always been hopeful and I have always been determined. 
and each funeral that I attend, I was actually going to take out all my little cards since I've been coming to this church of just how many brothers and sisters in Christ I have lost since I've been in this church. And I've been in this church uh, maybe 20, 21 years, maybe. And um, in every funeral, it's more of a celebration about going home. And coming home yesterday from the funeral, I thought about my own funeral. That I want my kids to rejoice because I am going to be in heaven. And it is just going to be the start of my real life. And I want you guys to have that hope when you pass on that you know that you know that you know that you are going to go to heaven. You know, John 3.16, John 14.6 is a very, very just in your face truth only by knowing the Son you're able to make it to the Father. So I'll close out in prayer. If you don't know God, if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, make it a point to talk to somebody. You know, you guys know I'm on Facebook. Send me a message. You have questions. I mean, I'm sure people that, you know, known my past couldn't even imagine where I'm at now. And I have changed only by the grace of God. Only by the grace of God can I speak to you about this truth. Only by the grace of God am I at peace about dying. Only by the grace of God am I comforted to know that Jesus will be back soon. Only by the grace of God. You know, valleys will come and I'll experience mountaintops and God will see me through. But I'm sure it's nothing compared to glory. Nothing. And what I feel and what I know and what, how I live my life, I want that for you that are unsaved. I want you to experience that just blown away high that no alcohol, no drug, no man, no woman can give you. It's just an out of this world high in being in the presence of the Almighty. And being at a funeral and feeling his presence, mm, you gotta know that you know that you know. And I'll close out in prayer. Precious Father, I just pray, dear God, for the lost, for the unsaved, for the ones that are struggling with doubt, for the ones that want to make it right. I pray for their salvation, Heavenly Father. I pray that my life would make a difference in somebody else's. That if you could change a wretched soul like mine, you could change anybody. And I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, that they would freely give their lives back to you. They were yours to begin with. And you give us a, a, a free will to make choices whether they're of you or not, you give us that freeness. And I pray that they would make the right choices, Heavenly Father. That they would get out of the grips, Satan's filthy hands, Heavenly Father. And be in your hands, dear Lord. Working for your kingdom, not Satan's kingdom. 
that they would see how Satan mocks them each time they get drunk and they have no clue, each time they get high and they have no clue, each time they're, they're committing sin after sin that they have no clue, that they're not even the ones that are in control, dear God. Help them to see how Satan is using them and as, as puppets to lead their children and their grandchildren and every generation after that astray just so they wouldn't serve the one and only true God, the God of creation, the God of Abraham. <laughs> I'm excited, Lord. Touch their hearts, Heavenly Father. Touch their hearts, the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. And remember, God loves you. And guess what? So do I. Have an amazing Monday.